Hi, I'm Michael Sertag. Welcome back to Motor Power Mondays. This week, I'm going to show you how I got my SW1200 from S Helper Services to this point. I'm going to show you the techniques that I used. And after this, we can start having some fun getting the thing put back together. Nobody likes doing this. But hey, after this, all the fun can begin. Okay, here we have our S Helper Services SW1200. We're going to start taking this thing apart. Okay, here you see the front and the rear pilot that I'm going to be using. They're attached to the frame, actually, and uh, with just a couple of little screws. Here you see the interior. I uh, took these out in the head so I could show you guys the instrument panel. I'm going to try to light this, so that should be fun. Okay, now here's a bunch of bags of parts. They've got bells and headlights and extra pilots and the handrails. All the parts I'm going to need to put this thing back together. I put them all in separate bags so it's easier to organize and I can find what I need later. I've got one of these foam cradles, so instead of using the cradle portion, I'm going to flip it over and use the flat bottom portion. That way I have a nice level surface to be able to uh, work with while I'm disassembling the, the unit. As you can see, I took the motor off already. Uh, it was pretty straightforward, just four screws that held it in place, so I didn't really think I needed to show you guys that. Here I'm taking off some of the, the uh, DCC-ready things for the trucks, that they're uh, circuit boards, and getting the wires all set and ready to go. I take these little E-clips off for the top of the truck. Uh, these are what holds the truck onto the frame, and that's it. No screws, nothing. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, now I just popped the front truck right off. It came off real simple. Not a problem. We're going to set that off to the side. We're just going to pull that hind truck right through with the wires through little holes. Yeah, there you go. Piece of cake. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark each truck. And even though the gear portions are facing inward, it's still nice to know what one goes where when we need to reassemble. Now we're going to start taking these air tanks off, and this is pretty straightforward. Just take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of wiggle them off and pop them off as they need to. You don't want to do it too hard so you don't break any of the little piping on there. Yeah, we did the first one so well. We're going to do the other side now. Same kind of concept. We're just going to pop that right off. No big deal. And... You know, it, oh, that one had a little piece of extra piping on it. I didn't even see that. All right, well, that's easy. We just pop that right off, and that uh, comes right out of the little hole that it's stuck into. Uh, fuel fillers, the same thing. Take the pliers, just wiggle them off, and boom, off they are. To the other side, and piece of cake. All right, now here you can see all the parts that we've taken off and the way everything sits. Uh, the engine's pretty well ready to go and start getting stripped down. Take this beautiful Chesapeake and Ohio paint off, make it Milwaukee Road. Now I soak this all in a solution of just straight 91% alcohol. Um, typically, uh, it doesn't do any damage to the plastic. Uh, the metal, it, it didn't really like the paint coming off the metal very much, so I'm going to have to do something a little different. But as you can see here, just by using a little toothbrush and a little TLC on everything, that paint just comes right off of the, uh, the plastic parts. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's okay to use to strip paint. It doesn't really make the plastic very brittle, and uh, it's very workable. And as you can see, it comes off real nice with just a real, real soft toothbrush. It's not a hard brush, bri excuse me, hard bristle brush. It's a nice soft brush. And here you can see, wait, wait till you see this. It sh just comes right off like butter. Just beautiful. And it doesn't leave a greasy residue or anything. It's kind of fun taking all this paint off of an engine. SL Per Services did a great job with the paint scheme. It's almost a shame I, I need to do this, but I want to make this a Milwaukee Road unit. So, you know, kind of a necessary evil of sorts. Uh, sorry, all you chessy guys. Okay, as you can see here, the frame didn't really like the alcohol bath, so we'll have to do something a little bit later with it. But I'm going to just give this a little water bath now to try to get the, uh, the process uh, cleaned up a little bit. And some of the pieces will still pop off of there. And 
and everything, but we're going to do something extra with this frame here, as you can see a little later. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit more off of the nose or off of the radiator grills uh, with this, but I don't expect a whole lot, and then I could tell right away it wasn't going to do a lot. So I'm just going to put it right in the alcohol bath, just kind of get everything cleaned up, let that stuff start to dry. I'm going to do the same thing with all the rest of the parts, the cab, the uh, two pieces of pilot I have, and then there's a couple of parts there where I have uh, a couple of small parts that I threw in there, but those we'll talk about a little later in the build. And here we can see the results of stripping all that paint off after a couple of days. Not bad so far. Long ways to go. Okay, now what we're going to do here is I got my handy dandy roto tool. This is a Ryobi um, 1 Plus system, 18 volt 1 Plus system rotary tool. And I've got a wire brush on there, and I'm just going to start going on it with a wire brush. And as you can see, just like that, that stuff just, the paint just starts coming right off. And because it's a metal frame, you can do something like this. I would not advise doing something like this with styrene or a plastic frame because the wire brush will probably, in all likelihood, will scratch up and mar the surface. But the wire brush, it's metal on metal. You're really not damaging anything, and it really can you're, I'm really able to see the the molded in walkway tread on the frame. So we're going to continue to do this for a little while. And after a bit, this whole frame will end up being pretty nice and clean. Just a quick little note on this rotary tool. I picked it up at the Home Depot when they were on sale. Uh, you know, these things come in really handy if you've got an 18-volt system uh, by Ryobi or if you want to get into one. This, this rotary tool works amazing. Just like that, the frame is done. A lot more fun than watching it sulk. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you're notified when I go and uh, post another video. And as always, thanks for watching and keep them on the shiny side.